Hi. Um, today I'm going to be bringing you a tutorial on a coat rack that I wanted to create because I don't know about you guys, but a problem that I have when I go home is I throw everything all over the place. I throw my bag, I throw my coat, I throw my shoes, throw my clothes. I'm just, I'm crazy when I come home. So a new solution that I wanted to incorporate into my new apartment that I'm moving into in 20 days is a coat rack. And I looked on Pinterest and I found some ideas, but I didn't really, none of them really spoke to me. I wanted to create something that was like my own work of art. Something that I worked on, something that's my style and it's very personalized. So that's why I decided to create my own. Got milk? No. Um, okay, so for this part of the tutorial. <laughs> okay. So for this part of the, the uh, tutorial, I'm just going to be taking the coffee paper that, that I created and I'm going to be mod podging it on this, you know. So now this part you're going to be using knobs and then I'm also going to be using the drill which I purchased. It was $99. It actually came out to $106 with tax. So now you just take a jacket and relax. The reason why I wanted to add these handles towards the end, like around here is so that once they're in you could put um you can hang your umbrella or you could put your keys like if your keys have a hook on them or anything like that if you have if you walk with a cane you could put it here whatevs you know whatever your preference is hi guys i'm back and it's all done and i'm super excited um so i just want to show you an example of basically how we look at things on it so here is a flannel a huge flannel right why is it huge because it's huge all right, and so let's say it would look like that, right? See how I measured the base so that um, there would still be enough room to put other things? So if I wanted to hang up an umbrella, there you go. And let's say these are my keys, and if I also wanted to put these up, I could either put them up here. Well, they have a hook on them, so I could hook. They don't really hook there, you see? So that's why I have this at the base, and I could just hook them on like that. It's very simple. I am very proud of this project. I think it came out wonderful, and I hope that you guys tried I think that it could go any way like you could put tiles on it make it look marble or whatever like a piece of marble that you just that's like your coat rack your leaning coat rack you could just do a million things with it spray paint paint wallpaper fabric decoupage any little thing that your heart desires and I hope that you guys try it 
and I would love to see them if you guys would love to um, send me to your pages like your Facebook pages or anything like that and I will check them out thank you so much for watching and have fun DIY So I'm just going to put it in one of my eating bowls and wash it when I'm done. Here you go. Here's milk. You want cereal? So what's your favorite kind of cereal? It's like a first day, right? Aries, there was more, so I was going to put it right next to it. So I was just creating a little piece of art. I wanted, I wanted actually a super opaque. Stop moving. Hmm? Stop moving. You want to do it all over? Yeah, because you're moving too much. You're going in and out of the frame. Yeah, just try this. Or you want me to take it from back here so you can actually see the background. Let me let's do that. So you have a little more, you know, space to move. Sorry. Is all we want. Alright. Annoying cameraman. Hmm. I'm not... Okay, go. Wait, wait, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <coughs> <coughs> So for, for the next step, I just did all of the sign. So let's begin. So let's begin. So let's begin. <laughs> and they're kind of crooked and all that, but hey, the more imperfections, the better, eh? No. All right. There's actually no screw on it at all. You just, like, slide it into the unit and put these nuts around it. It's pretty awesome. Don't feel my feet. Did you? No. It looks nice.